Babies were found inside this local home crying, living in filthy, dangerous conditions, according to police, and now their mother is facing charges. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. The five and 16 month olds were found as Nassau County deputies were looking for two teens connected to a string of burglaries. Action News Jacks, Ryan Nelson is live in Fernandina Beach. Ryan, you spoke to this mother who was arrested Saturday. And Tanika, in the last two minutes, we actually saw what appeared to be DCF investigators walking out of this property in Nassauville. Now, this is where the mother lives. Now, while my photographer and I were here this afternoon, she approached us saying that she bonded out of jail. And when I had tried to ask her questions on camera, she walked away. But the grandmother of her children did speak to us in an interview you'll only see on Action News Jax. 24-year-old Randy Christner was arrested Saturday for child neglect. She wanted to know why we were at her house today. When we tried to record our conversation to hear her side of the story, she walked away. The grandmother of her children on the father's side, Jeanette Scott, who also lives in the same home, spoke to me on camera. She is a very good mother. Deputies say they found one of the kids in a bouncer. The bouncer was on the couch and the baby was not fastened in. The other was in a playpen with several cockroaches crawling around him. Him. Investigators say in the report they found baby formula in a diaper with dead and alive cockroaches inside. The report also claims there was no AC in the house, a 10 inch knife was within reach of one child, and that both babies had multiple bug bites. I asked Scott about this. Is it true what they were saying about the bug bites or about cockroaches? Um, you know, they took pictures of my home. Uh, they can say anything they want. Um, Nobody's home is exactly as spotless, especially when you do have children. We'll be fighting that. I didn't know nothing was going on. I, had, I didn't even understand why they're replacing all my family in handcuffs. And deputies were at the home investigating a string of burglaries in the area and located two teenage suspects inside the house hiding in a closet. Now, we're not naming them because of their age, but deputies say both admitted to burglarizing multiple places, including a church. Now, I have reached out for, to DCF to get an update on what will happen to these kids. A spokesperson tells me as soon as he has more information, he'll reach out. Reporting in Nassauville, Ryan Nelson, CBS 47, Action News Jack.